back to Good Morning Colorado, 620 right now. This is a live view in La Junta where we're seeing some gorgeous colors of our dawn's early light. Thanks to our exclusive VR Wireless Neighborhood Weather Network camera for this look. Not a whole lot of traffic in La Junta at this point in time, but traffic along the I-25 corridor starting to increase. We'll keep a close eye on your time saver traffic. We're also watching conditions for you as you get out the door and into work and school. We are coming up on 621. Let's take you to weather on the ones right now and show you what to expect both today and into the next several days. We'll see partly sunny skies this morning, but we'll increase clouds later on this afternoon. Dodging showers and storms. However, the southwest mountains will see some stormy activity throughout the day today. Changes arrive to the lower elevations going into Saturday afternoon and Sunday afternoon. We'll get to that momentarily, but first let's take you through the morning hours. For kids at the bus stop this morning, we'll see a pair of 45s for Colorado Springs and Puebla. Really a mild start. Uh, for Woodland Park, upper 30s, mid to upper 40s for Canyon City. Once more under partly sunny skies. If you're perhaps t considering taking the kids to the playground today, here's a check of your park forecast. 10 o'clock, low to mid 50s, 60s expected into the early afternoon. I really think that you're going to like today. Not only will we see highs in the 60s, we'll also see light winds, mostly staying under 10 miles an hour. For all of you with um, outdoor plans later on tonight, you could expect temperatures between 8 and 10 o'clock to stay in the 50s and 60s under mostly cloudy skies. Live HD Doppler radar, rather dull at this hour, will stay silent on Doppler for the I-25 corridor and eastern plains throughout the day today. Once more, it's the high country that will start to see some rain and some snow. Let's take you through your Friday and into Saturday. Here's a look at noon today, seeing some clouds, but more clouds into 3 o'clock. 5 p.m. for the evening commute, no weather related issues anticipated. Later on this evening at 9, still seeing that mixture of clouds. Overnight and into Saturday morning, we still stay mild and still stay quiet. Into the middle of your Saturday, still looking pretty good. So the majority of your Saturday, not bad, but take a look at what happens going into Saturday afternoon and evening. Pausing the clock at 5, especially up toward the Palmer Divide, but even for Colorado Springs and Pueblo proper, we could be developing some scattered showers. Tomorrow night, we can't rule out some rumbles of thunder. I'm not expecting much in the way of impacts. We could even see some isolated snowflakes for the foothill locations, but once more, little to nothing is expected in the way of a travel impacts for you. It's going to be Sunday into Monday. That's our next window for seeing the possibility for some very minor snow accumulations possibly up toward the Palmer Divide and within Teller County, but it's still way too early to be throwing out projected snow totals. There's still time for all of that to change. Tuesday and Wednesday, we also have the possibility for some spotty showers. In Pueblo, we'll be at 69 for today's high temperature, mid-70s for you on Saturday, keeping in our wet and unsettled pattern Saturday all the way through Wednesday. In Canyon City today, 67 degrees, low 70s for your Saturday and Sunday. Remember, the majority of your weekend doesn't look to be a washout, but it's going to be during the afternoon and evening when we could encounter some sprinkles. Tell it County 57 for today, mid upper 50s, uh, both a Saturday and Sunday. Okay, we will have a look at your hour to hour temperatures throughout this morning. That's coming up at 631. All right, happy Friday. Thank you, happy you Friday. too. Thanks, Abby. Uh huh.